We awoke from one nightmare into another. Not on our dying earth. Somewhere much worse. But we awoke changed. The anomaly unleashed within us. Burning with power. Impossible power. As the last remnants of humanity destroy themselves, the key to our salvation is still out there. The signal. I'm finding that signal. journey from the ruins of our old world and into what lies beyond. Again, my name is Lucy, and this is the Outriders Broadcast, a monthly show in which we unearth and dissect everything that Square Enix and People Can Fly's sprawling new RPG shooter has to offer. But first, a quick recap of what we've seen so far. Back in episode one, we looked at the deep systems and quality of life design decisions that make the game built for the core. Last month, in episode 2, we looked at the world and structure of Outriders, and how your journey across Enoch will play out. Today, we are delving deeper still, as we look into how the Outriders can pool their powers together to overcome the toughest threats that Enoch has to offer. In doing this, we'll be looking at the Trickster, Pyromancer, and Devastator in action, seeing how the abilities of each different class can be deployed and combined in co-op play. But that's not all. We have also got another class to throw into the mix. So we can finally reveal that the fourth and final class in the game is called the Technomancer. So let's jump straight in and check out the new class in action in our brand new trailer. I have become terror. Unseen predator. A rupture that obliterates without warning. Alone, the hordes of Enoch will fall before me. But together, this entire planet will fear us. The anomaly alters us, each in our own ways, yet we are drawn down the same road into the dark heart of creation. Cause I feel the way you feel, yeah, I kill the way you kill. We will find the source, whatever it holds, whatever it takes. Let's talk Technomancer. In Outriders, the Altered are humans that have been changed by the Anomaly Storm's energy, giving them power over elemental and physical forces. It's this same energy that destroys the machines and technology that were brought to Enoch. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, because when your Outrider chooses the Technomancer class, you will gain powers directly linked to technology. You'll be able to conjure up a variety of different constructs from turrets and mines and missile launchers, all the way to rocket launchers and miniguns. Whew, that's some firepower. 
As a long-range support class, the Technomancer can be a literal lifesaver for your allies in a gunfight, possessing the best healing abilities out of all four classes. But enough words, let's switch over to Sven, who has been field testing a new recruit with the help of Robbie and yours truly. Hey, hello everyone. This is Sven with a very special treat. It's time to feast your eyes on some brand new co-op action, where I play as Kayla to show you the final class in action. The class that you have all been waiting for, the Tectomancer. An advanced heart-hitting tactical specialist, able to spawn a wide range of deadly contraptions. We have a great fire team on the field today, with Lucy taking helm of the Devastator and Robbie is in command of a Pyromancer. So sit back and enjoy a few minutes of intense co-op gameplay. And we talk again in a bit.
And there you have it. The Technomancer has arrived, and the fourth class is finally revealed. For this specific loadout, we showed you three of the Technomancer's powers. A sticky proximity mine slash grenade hybrid, a conjured RPG, and a mighty pain launcher, which fires a widespread rocket barrage that rains death on your enemies. It should already give you a good idea about the versatility of this class, especially in combination with your Devastator, Pyromancer and Trickster co-op partners allowing many new and exciting possibilities when it comes to refining how the many different powers in your fire team complement each other. And speaking about our friend Devastator, Lucy just showed a lot of cool new stuff you can do with this class. In a few moments though, she will dive even more into the nitty and gritty details of the Devastator in this month's Spotlight, so stay tuned! We hope you enjoyed this exciting look into Outrider's brutal and thrilling co-op possibilities. And I also hope you are all already building out your dream team in your heads. And as always, stay safe out there, people. And I see you in the next Outriders broadcast. Cheers, guys. So as you can see across the four classes, upgrade paths and various gear choices, there are countless ways in combining powers to tackle the horrors of Enoch. That being said, each class is more than capable of taking on the world by themselves. It just means you might have to employ some slightly different tactics. And on that note, let's jump into another spotlight. Hot on the heels of the Trickster and the Pyromancer, today we are continuing our class series with an in-depth look at the Devastator. If armored, heavy-hitting playstyles are your kind of thing, you're gonna wanna stick around. Take it away! Me? <laughs> Greetings Outriders! Welcome back to our Spotlight series, videos that explore specific features of the game. Today, we are delving into the third class, the ground-shaking, earthquaking Devastator. As Devastators, we shatter the Earth around us, a brute force powered by the planet itself. Who is this class for? At first glance, you may think that Devastators are your typical run-of-the-mill tank class. But once you get to know these not-so-friendly giants, you'll soon realize that they can match the other classes regarding sheer damage and devastation. An important thing to note is that the Devastator can be a real linchpin in determining the flow of battle. 
With a number of interrupt skills, an accomplished devastator can effectively shut bosses down. If you love slugging it out with the enemy toe to toe, laughing at their pitiful attempts to bring you down, well, the devastator is your kind of class. Fundamentals The devastator is focused around gravitational and earth-based powers and effects, centered around three core tenets. Kinetic, protection, and seismic. Its melee type is slightly different from the other classes as it inflicts the bleeding status effect onto enemies hit by it. Bleeding deals damage over time to afflicted enemies. Healing. Devastators recover health when enemies perish around you in close range. Now, we know what you're thinking. Sounds similar to the trickster, right? Well, there are actually some key differences between these close quarters killing machines. At base level, the difference is that tricksters get shields for each close range kill, and devastators just have more HP and armor as standard. But they start to differentiate the more upgrades you get. When upgraded, devastators can achieve bonuses to armor and health by choosing specific class tree paths and nodes. For example, stealing enemy armor for each enemy slain in close range. An upgraded devastator will most likely have the most armor and health buffs out of all of the classes. These mechanics mean that if you want to be an unstoppable juggernaut as a devastator, you will need to keep chasing into the heart of combat, making sure you're always in the thick of it if you want to maintain your health. Powers Each class has eight powers in total. You'll start with a single power and unlock more as you level up. In this video, we're showing you four of the Devastator's abilities and we'll showcase the other half in the future. Power 1. Gravity Leap Upon using Gravity Leap, you will jump into the air and hover there for a few seconds. Activating the power once more whilst targeting an enemy, which will be highlighted in yellow, will cause you to slam down on them, dealing area damage to all nearby enemies. This is an excellent option for quickly launching yourself into the thick of the fight, or maybe exiting combat to isolated, far away enemies. Remember that Devastators heal when enemies close to them die, so this skill is key to ensuring you'll always be close enough to enemies that are about to perish. This is also an interrupt skill. That means that you can use it to prevent bosses from channeling their own skills. Just make sure that you don't have it on cooldown at those key moments. Power 2. Reflect Bullets Using Reflect Bullets will activate a shield directly in front of you. While the shield is up, any bullets fired at you will get caught in the shield, preventing all damage. This makes it a great skill to cover your allies while they get into position, or during a team charge at the enemy. However, it isn't just a defensive skill. When the skill duration ends, or when you activate the power again, all of the caught bullets will be sent flying back at nearby enemies. This means that you'll want to chase down the biggest outpourings of lead, catch them, and then throw them right back in the enemy's face. Power 3. Impale This is the Outriders team's personal favorite Devastator attack. Want to know why? That's why. When using Impale, you select an enemy to interrupt them. This is highly effective when dealing with bosses and their pesky skills, but is also a very useful ability for dealing with mobs too. If the damage dealt by Impale is lethal, the enemy will be speared by a stone spike, granting your squad an armor bonus and health regen for 9 seconds. Impale also has 7 potential modifiers that could be applied to it through gear. For example, the mod Spike Forest, which can be found on a legendary gear set, means that Impale can strike one additional target. Safety in numbers? <laughs> I don't think so. Power 4. Endless Mass Endless Mass releases a spinning obelisk, which sucks all nearby enemies towards its gravitational center. Think of it as your own personal black hole. Endless Mass is a hugely versatile skill and will likely form at least part of your strategy when playing with friends. The ability to draw large numbers of enemies into a tightly packed clump means that most other targeted skills, from both Devastators and other classes, can be used to gargantuan effect. 
As mentioned, these are only half of the Devastator's skills. Subscribe to keep in the loop about the other four. Power Combos As Devastators feed off close-range kills, they need to lock distances between enemies down very quickly. Combining Endless Mass with Gravity Leap will mean that a Devastator can instantly be amongst the enemy, causing havoc, dishing out damage. Reflect Bullets can then be used to minimize damage against you whilst you're the center of attention, before you turn the tables on the enemy. Eat lead, baby! Alter your Devastator. Each class has a tree of class point nodes that you can activate to alter the way your builds and skills work. Class points are acquired by leveling up. You won't be able to fill out the class tree, but you will be able to respec your nodes to switch up your gameplay as you go. The three branches for the Devastator are Vanquisher, Warden, and Seismic Shifter with each branch providing both major and minor passives that affect your character's type of damage focus and survivability. The Vanquisher branch is all about grappling up close and personal with the enemy, and thus provides bonuses for weapons like shotguns or assault rifles. The Warden branch will truly move mountains and is the ultimate tank, with very high bonuses to health, armor, and resistances. The Seismic Shifter branch is most useful at mid-range combat and focuses on anomaly damage for seismic skills such as Impale. This branch also combines very well with the bleeding status effect that Devastators can inflict. Damage over time fans, you're gonna love this one. Additionally, the equipment you use may impact the way your skills work too. The equipment passives might reduce the cooldown or duration of a skill, or they might alter it on a more fundamental level. But we don't want to spoil the fun too much today, so we will showcase these in another video. So that's our Devastator introduced. No need to shake hands. I mean, they'd probably crush your palm into dust if you did. Keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for future gameplay videos and other spotlights coming soon. You know what to do, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us on social media, all that good stuff. We hope the Devastator class rocked your wills, <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Sadly, that is pretty much everything we have for you for Broadcast 3. A new class to whet your appetites, a look at how beautifully brutal co-op can be, and everything you need to get started as the Devastator. Am I missing anything? <clears throat> oh, yeah. I am going to pass over to Robbie, who has been going through your questions and your comments from the last broadcast. Where you at, Robbie? Thanks, Lucy. If you would like your question answered on the broadcast, be sure to follow us on your favorite social network and use the hashtag Outriders. Let's jump into your questions this month. What platforms and stores is Outriders coming to? We want as many players as possible to experience the journey across Enoch. So on PC, Outriders will be available on both Steam and Epic Game Store, and we will also be releasing on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. We'll also be releasing on Stadia in 2021. How does Outriders' story progress, and will I be able to play from start to finish with friends? Outriders has a drop-in, drop-out style of co-op play. Once players have finished the beginning prologue, you and your friends will be able to complete Outriders together or tackle the game with completely different people at different sections, or you can solo the entire game by yourself. The choice is completely yours. If you jump into a lobby in which a player is further ahead than you in the story, the game will warn you before you fully join to avoid spoilers. Are we seeing a lower level cap where grinding for gear is essential so players will be able to grind for gear, yes, but finding the best build is dependent on a lot more than just coming across a legendary through pure luck. How you spec your character using the skill tree and how you modify your existing gear with different gear mods you want like over time will play a big role in your combat's effectiveness and survivability. And of course, there is the question of skill, because no matter how amazing your gear, you won't survive long at the top tiers of Outriders if you don't learn how to master your equipment. What's the fourth class? We're really excited to reveal in Broadcast 3 the fourth and final class, 
the Technomancer, a flexible class with both support and destructive potential that has a variety of amazing anomaly powered weaponry at their disposal. The Technomancer class is also the only class that, in addition to their own sustain mechanics, can heal other players with their powers. Tune in to our next broadcast for a spotlight on the Technomancer and its skills and mechanics. Thanks to everyone that sent in their questions for broadcast 3. Next time we will be back to answer more of your gameplay based questions so just keep sending them in for the chance to have them answered next time on the Outriders broadcast. Thank you Robbie. As always keep an eye on our social channels for the question call out for broadcast 4. And you never know, your question could be answered by Robbie next month. Okay, that really is everything now. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it, learnt something new, and most importantly, are super stoked for the Technomancer. We'll see you next time. Next time on the Outriders broadcast, we're taking a look at Endgame and what awaits you after your search for the signal comes to an end. Where do you go? What do you do? And most importantly, how do you go about perfecting your personal Outrider build? As well as this, we'll be checking out the Technomancer in our final class spotlights. See you then.